Hey guys, it's Casey, and I'm wearing a shirt. <laughs> um, and today I'm going to be reviewing some products for you guys. And this is the first time I've ever done a review, so if you guys like this video a lot, just give it a thumbs up and to let me know that you like it. And make sure to comment down below what you want to see next to get it. So next we're going to try this Sephora Pink Clay Face Mask. It says it reduces the appearance of skin and relates, it boosts the brightness of the skin and for skin that is fresh, glowing, and even in texture. So, the directions on it are apply on clean, dry skin, either entire face or multi-masking zones, leave on for 15 minutes and that it won't completely dry, and then to rinse well with lukewarm water. So, it says to apply to dry skin, so that's what we're going to do. I have dry skin right now. Um, a little bit hard to open, but I mean, it could dry out if you, if it's not hard to open. So I'm going to put this on with my fingers because I feel like, I don't know. But I'm going to come in a little bit more. Sorry if it's kind of like weird lighting, especially to this side. I'm sitting right beside my window, so it's going to be better lighting on this side than this side. Sorry. Um, it says that you get four years uses out of it that's how much you should get um i'm not sure how much to put all over like how much i got this much because um it smells like shampoo uh -huh. um it's going on very nicely minutes so about halfway through to the 15 minutes I have it in my eyebrow um about halfway through and it really doesn't it still feels like it's like wet like it feels very nice on my face right around like above my lip I think it's a kind of um I think at that I think that spot is a little bit less like I think it's um a little bit more thin on that spot than the rest of my face so like right here and right here feels a lot more dry but it doesn't feel dry like it's not like I can't move my face like I can still like that was really bad but like you know how when you use a face mask sometimes you're like ooh, I can't move my face this is weird like that's not how this feels all right everybody it's been 15 minutes since I first put this on All right, everybody, so it's been 15 minutes since I put it on, and that's how long it says to wear it for, and in my last check-in, I said that it wasn't dry yet. They say it won't completely dry, so that's why it still feels, like, you can feel that it's, like, drier, but it's not, like, it's not drying. I don't know. Like, you can feel that it's, like, tighter on your face than it was before, but it doesn't feel like it's, like, drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and go wash this off in my bathroom and then I'll be right back to tell you guys how, like how it washes off and if it makes my skin underneath feel dry or weird or gross or anything like that. So let's hop into it. I tried to use my fingers at first to kind of get it off of the skin like this, but it didn't really work that well. Um, so then I took a rag and I just kind of was like a wash rag. I just kind of got it wet and I was just kind of doing the same motions. Like I was kind of just rubbing it off and then I decided that I could do both. So for my forehead, which feels, I don't know. My forehead kind of feels better. So maybe this is the way you could get it off. Cause at first this 
side right here, I just wash it off with my hand, and then this side, I wash it off with just a rag. In the forehead, I got it to kind of like get a little bit like, I don't know, it didn't become like foamy, but that's kind of how like I would describe it. So I was trying to get it to like foam up, and then I used the rag to kind of just like wipe it away. But then I would still like, like I had it like soup, my face was super wet and the rag was super wet, so it just kind of came off. So that's kind of how I did it. Um, my face does feel pretty soft. It feels a lot better. Um, you know how sometimes after you take a mask off, it feels like, like you can feel that there was something on the, on your face, or sometimes it feels like there's still like a film on your face. Well, that's not how it feels. When you first take it off, it's kind of how it feels, like with the film on your face, right around, right on my forehead, it felt so much like a film on my face. It was very weird. I didn't really like it that much. But now that my face is dry, um, it feels nice. I, I like it. I'm definitely going to use it again. It was only $6 from Sephora. This is the pink clay mask they have. Um, I know they have a blue clay mask, a purple clay mask, a white clay mask a black clay mask, um, the pink clay mask, obviously. So they have a whole bunch of colors. I wouldn't really say that it was pink necessarily. It was more of like a white color. Maybe like, it wasn't, it was kind of like a very, 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 very pale pink, which you can tell it is in the thing, in the package. You can tell that it's just gonna be a very pale pink. It's not really gonna be pink, but, yeah, so all in all that I used today, I would highly recommend for people to get. I very much like, and I hope you guys like this video, and remember to give me a thumbs up and comment down below things that you want me to try again, because I really do want this to be a new series type of thing on my channel, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. Bye!